So back in the day, the first firewall was really just NAT with access rules. So NAT is just network address translation, the ability to translate a private address to a public address and associate a very simple access list rule that says what IP address you're coming from, what IP address you're coming to, and what uh, protocol and port. And that was about it for the first firewall until the second generation firewall came out. And then they introduced the, uh, the concept of a uh, connection state. So now a connection state is, think of it like this. If you're on your network, there are two uh, zones. There's a trusted zone uh, from the perspective of your firewall, a, a trusted zone and an untrusted zone. So the trusted zone is permitted to go to the untrusted zone, but the untrusted zone is not permitted to go to the trusted zone unless specified in the configuration. Right, so this is great in that if you're on your LAN and you're browsing the web, you go out to a web server over the internet and then you have to open a connection to allow that return traffic to come back. When that connection is no longer needed, the firewall breaks it down. So now your, your rules in the firewall can also uh, add in there the connection state. So we still have network address translation, access list rules. Now you've got connection state to try to keep uh, unwanted traffic from coming in. Okay. So your third generation firewall introduced application visibility, uh, an application level filter. Now, that, in the context of that particular generation of firewall, says a lot more than what it actually did. Uh, in, a, in a Cisco world, that's uh, what you call inspection. So for a subset of ports and protocols, uh, applications that pertain to those protocols, it understands how those protocols normally work. It knows how FTP works. It knows how uh, you know, email, SMTP works. And if some uh, rogue application tries to hijack one of those ports and protocols and make it behave in a way that it's not supposed to, then your application uh, filter will say, um, that's not quite right. Uh, this, some, this is not supposed to be used like this. And it'll shut down the connection. So again, Again, that was only for a very small subset of well-known applications um, that have to do with that application firewall. And again, it sort of understands the behavior of how it works uh, and can stop that down, shut it down. The next generation firewalls add to that concept and make it much deeper and wider. So now they have a deep packet inspection allows them to have much more granular visibility to not just the subset of applications, but a much wider, a deeper subset of applications and exactly how they uh, work and how they're supposed to behave. And we'll expand on that quite a bit. Right, Ho, so here's your, uh, your definition of uh, next generation firewall, which I will admit I just pulled straight from Wikipedia because I looked up some other ones and it does a pretty good job at it. So, uh, uh, deep packet inspection allows you to do things like intrusion prevention. Uh, it allows you to do things like um, um, advanced malware protection or malware protection, um, you know, antivirus, identity management, SSL, encryption, decryption, a lot of features which we'll expand on.